Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing in a brand new stack from Melt Cosmetics. This is called the Shape Shift Stack and for whatever reason I keep wanting to call it the Shape Shifter Stack but it is just the Shape Shift Stack. My mouth does not want to spit that out. It wants to say Shape Shifter. <laughs> but anyway, before I get into this eye look and my thoughts, I'm going to give you guys all the information on the stack. It retails for $48. I do not think that this is limited edition. It does not say anywhere that it is. And we have four different shades. This one is Chameleon. And then we have my favorite shade, which is Shape Shift. Mimic and then lastly delirium for the swatches we have delirium which is described as an intense mauve with a rapturous pink shift so vivid you'll think you're hallucinating chameleon a changeable emerald with distinctive blue and lime green glitter flex mimic a steel blue that imitates the full moon phasing into celestial amethyst and then lastly shape shift Watch this magical deep terracotta evolve into an elemental bright jade. More info on it, it says it's loaded with transforming pigments and twinkling pearls. This stack will have you convinced it is a work of witchcraft. <laughs> Magic duochrome and iridescent shadows that are perfect for adding a pop of sparkle, a wash of shimmering majestic color, and everything in between. It does say for best results, use your fingers, but I feel like for like blending and doing the look that I did today, it was important that I used a brush so that everything was nice and blended out. Otherwise, we would have had a little bit of a hot mess going on. So now I'm going to go ahead and get into this eye look. To start off the look, I am going in with a Builder 3 from Sonia G. <laughs> it always makes me laugh because it rhymes. But anyway, I'm taking the shade Mimic, which is that blue shade, and I am packing that first onto the lid. I'm using it dry, but I am using packing motions, and I did not set my lid, so it really has something to adhere to. After I get that laid down, I'm picking up a Natural Hair MAC 217. A little bit more of that shade, I'm going into the crease and then slowly working it up and blending out and smoking out that outer corner area. I'm bringing it about halfway into the crease but not any further than that and I'm using light little motions to make sure that I don't get it too pigmented and then I'm going to wipe off my brush and then go back in and blend out the edges just a little bit more. Then I want to go ahead and add that shade to the lower lash line directly underneath where I applied it to the top. So I'm using a Wayne Goss Synthetic 27S and I'm just applying that right underneath where I applied it on the top to the lower lash line. Now for the center of the lid, I am picking up the green shade, which is Chameleon, on a W21 from Esam. Again, I am packing that on the lid first, and I'm tapping over the blue as well to make sure that they merge together really nicely. After I get that laid down, I'm going to go again, and I'm going to apply that into the crease. This time, I'm using a Wayne Goss, another synthetic brush. This is a 26S, and I'm going to take that into the crease, and I'm also going to bring it almost all the way in, but not quite. It's going to have a little bit of a harsh line at first, but then again, I am going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to blend out the edges just a little bit more. Then I'm going to add that shade again to the lower lash line right beside the blue with the Wayne Goss number 27S. I'm kind of going in with the same brushes because I'm just wiping them off on my pants. <laughs> then we're going in with my favorite shade which is Shape Shift. I'm using the Esam W21 to apply that to the inner corner and then slightly on the lower lash line and just really making sure that I blend that all over tapping over the lash shade we put down. There's going to be a nice little harsh line there. Don't worry about it because I am about to go in with a clean brush and I am just going to go right around the edges of everything and make sure that everything is nice and blended out before I go in and highlight. 
Now to highlight, I am picking up something not from the stack, which is the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Highlighting Trio. I'm taking that middle shade, which is a beautiful blue, green, gold, and I am taking that and I'm highlighting the brow arch, and then I'm also popping that on the inner corner. And again, I will go around the edges of that and blend it out to make sure everything is nice and blended, seamless, you know, worked out looking nicely. Lastly, I'm going to go in with a Wayne Goss number no. five. I'm going to use this wet this time because I feel like this shade really needs to be used wet. And this is the shade Delirium. I am placing this kind of like liner right up against my top lash line. I'm just kind of going back and forth, getting it wet and applying it so that you can see the color. After that, I'm using it dry with very little on my brush and I'm going just slightly over top of the shades that we put on the lower lash line. Then I am done. I add a little bit of Milk Boss Liner to the top inner rim and then kiss Ritzy Lashes. For my thoughts on the Shape Shift stack, I think that the shade Shape Shift is absolutely beautiful. This one right here, I have nothing like it in my collection. I went through everything and I was looking. I have like the blue browns and some that are green that have a little bit of shift to it, but nothing like this. I mean, this is absolutely stunning. And I do think this is very special to the stack and to my collection in general. I would buy the stack just for this. However, I don't think that the rest of the shades are that magical. My favorite is definitely that one and then the green, which is this one here. I don't really see this having any type of shifting aspect to it at all. I just think it's a beautiful emerald green that has a lot of intensity, a little bit of sparkle. It's beautiful nonetheless, but I don't think that this really shifts or has any kind of duochrome in my personal opinion. Now, this shade right here, this is Mimic. This one you can see, hopefully you can see it on camera as well. I'm gonna show you guys inserts of me on my hand showing you a video. But this one has a little bit of a shift to it, so I do see a little bit of purple in here. However, I feel like you are gonna have to really either use this wet, use your finger, really apply it all over the lid because if you use a small amount of this, you're not gonna see that shape shifting or that duochromeness to it. I feel like this is a shade that you're gonna have to use all over the eye to be able to move back and forth and be able to see any kind of shift with this. Otherwise, if you use it like I did today, you're not really going to see the shift, but I do think that that one's true. It's a duochrome. This shade Delirium, I... I could do without this personally. I would have rather have had something like the shade in the Pat McGrath palette that I used. This right here is what I used for my brow arch in the inner corner. I feel like something like this would have been so much better because again, it has like the yellow, the gold. This is an actual like duochrome or multi-chrome because it's green, gold, yellow, white. It's just, it's beautiful. So I would have taken this out. I have several things in my collection that are either similar enough or that I actually like better. To me, this is like kind of a muddy color. That's why I only wanted to use it on my line, like as liner. It's, I don't know, I, it's very dull to me. It's not special in any way, form or fashion. So I wish they would have left this out. And to me, again, there's no shifting of this to me. And that, I mean, I don't know, it's just, I don't care for it. I don't care for it much at all. There's also another big difference when it comes to the shape shift color. The texture of this one is much more creamy, much more wet looking. And even on my eyes, like as I look down, I can see it almost, it almost looks like I used it wet because of the texture of it. Whereas the other ones are a little bit more like crumbly, but workable. They pack on really well. Again, you could use your finger. They blend out well. They work well, but they, those are more crumbly, whereas this one is more creamy and wet looking. So there's a very big difference in the texture of this one versus all of the other ones. Overall, I really do like this stack. If they had gotten rid of this shade and done something like I said, the Pat McGrath shade, I think it would have been 10 times better. That's just my personal opinion. And I'm 
kind of a little bit disappointed that there wasn't more actual shifting in this stack other than that one shade. There's other little indie brands that have pigments and shadows that really do have some amazing like quad color shifts. I know Dawn Eyes Cosmetics, Chaos Cosmetics. Um, Kelsey did a video with Chaos Cosmetics. I'll try and link that down below. So if you only want this one shade, which I definitely think that this shade is gorgeous, I would say either wait and see if they come out with singles. They've done a lot of singles of their stacks, so if they came out with a single of this, I would definitely say go and grab it because I think it is special. However, if you know you like the whole stack, you like the whole look, grab it. But if you're only gonna buy it for that one shade, it's gonna be up to you as to whether or not you think it's really worth the price of $48. I do really also love the green. So if you have other shades to incorporate like I do, I think it's worth it. Otherwise, again, I would wait and see if they make any of these singles. But anywho, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down below and let me know what you think about this stack. Do you think it's worth it? Do you like some of the shades? Do you not like some of the others? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.